Learning objectives include how infectious organisms enter the body and how organisms evade the immune system. Obviously, organisms need to attach to the cells and they do not have hands like us that they can grab on something, but they do have something to stick on and that is basically adhesion molecules and they're called adhesins from adhesion. Like you see here, a green structure that is all around the bacteria or the pathogen, it has a receptor present on the cell, the host cell. It binds with this adhesin and then is attached to the cell and after attachment it'll go, it'll enter into the, into the cell. And various molecules can function as adhesins and they're present in glycocalyx, which basically is a capsule, sometimes loose, sometimes very organized and tight. They could be present in pili, could be present in fimbriae, or in, even in flagella. And if you look at the nature of these adhesin molecules, they are composed of either glycoproteins or they are lipoproteins in nature. Second way organism can attach to the cell is by making biofilms. And good example is dental plaques that we see. Um, organisms secrete biofilm and attach to the tooth or the teeth and then they can invade uh, the teeth and con can cause infection or disease there. Body of course has immune cells. They try to engulf bacteria, they try to eliminate them by eating them. So organisms have evolved themselves with the various mechanisms that defy or deny phagocytosis. One of those components is called capsule. Capsule basically impairs phagocytosis. It does not allow the organisms to be swallowed or engulfed by macrophages or neutrophils of the body. Although if body is able to make antibodies against the capsule, this capsule would not then help the organisms to go away from the immune system. Capsule making capacity lies with only few organisms. Examples include strep Streptococcus pneumoniae, Klebsiella pneumoniae, even anthrax disease organism, Bacillus anthracis has that capacity. But not all, not every organism has the, the ability to make a capsule. Another mechanism that organisms use for evading the immune system is with this M protein. M protein is, pro is present, it's a cell wall component and sometimes also present on the fimbriae. It also resists phagocytosis and example is Streptococcus pyogenes. Another substance Mycolic acid is present in some bacteria like Mycobacterium tuberculosis that has the same capacity as the capsule, so it resists phagocytosis. Other organisms have the, the ability to synthesize enzymes that enable the organism to stay or to set up infection in the body. Examples include coagulase, this enzyme which is secreted by the organisms. It causes the blood to clot and the organism remains hidden in the clot and replicates there. Example includes Staph aureus which can produce this coagulase. Another enzyme is a hyaluronidase. It dissolves connected tissue. The CT means connected tissue. Connected tissue is present in the body everywhere. All cells, there are four, four typical tissues like epithelial tissue, connected tissue, nervous tissue, and muscular tissue. All these are connected with each other through connected tissue. So connected tissue is m the most abundant tissue in the body. So organisms are able to make hyaluronidase, days which dissolves this connected tissue and help in spreading the organism to other areas. Similarly, collagenase is another enzyme that can dissolve collagen, another component of the connective tissue. IgA protease, some organisms are able to synthesize IgA protease. IgA 
is an antibody, which obviously is part of the body defense. So if IgA is degraded, is not able to uh, bind to, this, to the cells, to the organisms, and if the organisms are not bound, they can penetrate uh, the body. Some organisms are really, really tricky, and they can change themselves. So, because immune system tries to eliminate them, eliminate these organisms by making antibodies against them. So, by the time the organism, um, the, the body makes antibodies against the organisms, some of the organisms change themselves, and then a new set of infections sets up there in the body. So, antigenic variation is another tool that defies immune system. Influenza and Neisseria gonorrhea are two very good examples with antigenic variation. So we saw that there are components that present on the, the organisms. They help the organism to attach to the body cells. And then there are other components that can evade immune system. So the immune system is not capable of eliminating the organisms.